Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and welcome to Chucky Attacks Halloween Extravagant Reviews as Film Fan 0599 and I will be reviewing Bride of Chucky. So Bride of Chucky is directed by Ronnie Yu, who is the same director of Freddy vs. Jason, a big guilty pleasure of mine. And the film stars Katherine Heigl and Brad Dourif and Jennifer Tilly. So Bride of Chucky is about when Chucky's old girlfriend Tiffany actually revives him by putting back together all the pieces. She even sews Chucky together and of course Chucky and Tiffany they have their little reunion until Chucky kills Tiffany and now Tiffany gets revived into what the title states the Bride of Chucky. She is now Chucky's bride in the doll form and the two of them decide to have their little honeymoon by tagging along with this happy couple that wants to get married but without their own parents knowing and they have their little killing spree while they're at it. So before I review Bride of Chucky, Film Fan 0599 is going to be reviewing this movie. So Film Fan, take it away. Hey what's up you guys, Film Fan 0599 here again. I'd like to thank my uh, good friend 22 Tiger Dude for uh, letting me come on here and uh, review Bride of Chucky. So, let me give my thoughts on the film. Now, I am, I've been all over the place with this franchise and, you know, because of course this takes place after the third movie. So, and it's been, what, seven years when this movie came out, it was like seven years after three I'm surprised they waited that long to make this movie. And, you know, what they wanted to do with this one was kind of, you know, make it like a dark comedy. And now, that idea wouldn't be too bad, but the way that they executed it here is just awful. Bride of Chuck is a terrible movie. They try so hard with this movie to make it like a dark comedy. And the fact that they give, like, Chucky a bride and stuff like that, like, it, it just, it doesn't work. And it's just a really big mess of a movie. So, let's get into my positives, because I do have positives with the film. Um, first being, Brad Durf was very 50-50 with me in this movie as Chucky. Like, there are moments where I do enjoy him, and I do think he does a great job as the character. Then there's other, the other 50, which I'll get more into a little bit later, but, you know... He, there were some moments where I did think he was really good. I still d did enjoy him as a character, and he was pretty solid. And there were some moments that I did think were funny, that I did think they did do well with the dark comedy, that I thought, okay, you know, it's, uh, it's, this is not too bad. This is actually very funny. I like this. So, there are some moments in this film where I do think it does, where the humor does work. I do think it's pretty funny. Now the negatives, because I do have a lot of negatives with the film. First being the acting. The acting is absolutely atrocious in this film. Brad Dourif, like I said, he was very 50-50. The other 50% of it is that he's just so annoying at times. And I love Chucky for that. Like, Chucky, you know, he's a very narcissistic. He doesn't take himself too seriously. You know, he's just just kind of like one of those, you know, villains that just doesn't take himself too seriously. I love that. But however, in this movie, just the way he was written in this film, just to make him way more comical than he should have been, just it didn't work. For me, it didn't work. It was just, it came off so terrible. And Brad Durf at times just really annoyed me as the character. Jennifer Tilly, who I never thought was really a good actress, and she's really bad as Tiffany. I did not enjoy her in the film. Her acting was awful in this film. I thought she did an absolutely terrible job. Catherine Heigl's in this. Yeah, and she's uninteresting and pretty bad as the lead as the lead human character. And her boyfriend as well is really terrible. And I could give honestly two craps about their relationship like there's a storyline where she like wants to run away from her father because she won't let him let her be with this guy I'm, I'm like I could care less about this this I could care less because I can care less about these characters because they're just terrible John Ritter who I love I love John Ritter but man was he not good in this movie either he really was I didn't think John Ritter did a good job in this film as well 
The acting is just terrible. Honestly, the acting is really atrocious with this film. I thought everyone did a pretty terrible job. This movie's not scary. Like, they only even tried to make it like... I, I get that their main purpose was trying to make it like a dark comedy, but this is also still a horror franchise. Like, try to at least make it scary, and it's not. Most of the comedy doesn't work in the film. Like, the movie really isn't that funny. Like I said, there are moments that I do think were funny, and actually were pretty good. But, for the most part, really, the humor does not work, and it just comes off as really as forced, and it's really terrible. Just the way that they do this story in this movie is really terrible. Like, I could care less about both Chucky and Tiffany's relationship. I could care less about that. I could care less about the human's relationship. Like, I could care less about it. The story's terrible. It's not engaging whatsoever, and it's just awful. And then the movie just doesn't make any lick of sense. Like, any lick of sense. It just, this movie goes off the rails so many times, especially in the finale. Jesus H. Christ. Do they just go off the rails in the finale? That has to be one of the most over-the-top finales I have ever seen to a film. It, it did just go off the rails with that. And then what happens at the end of it, okay... Now, um, you know what, I, I, uh, spoiler alert, because I need to talk about this, because, like, just the way that this movie ends, it's just like, what the heck? So, if you don't want to be spoiled, if you've never seen this movie, then don't watch this part of the video, okay? Here we go, spoiler alert. Okay, so, at the end of the film, you know, they, uh, one guy sees Tiffany, you know, the doll version, and she's, like, in agonizing pain. And a baby pops out of her because apparently dolls can get pregnant and and apparently, you know, they get pregnant a day after having sex, apparently. And, you know, she gives birth and then this thing, this, this fetus starts like doing kung fu moves and it's the heck and we just hear Tiffany screaming and we just... It, and then it just ends with one way or another being the end credits song. What, what the heck? What? What? Like, it just ends like that. The What in God's name? That that was just like... Uh, after I was done watching it, I was just like... The hell? Like, I was speechless of how they just ended that movie like that. Oh, my Lord. And th the writing is pretty terrible with this movie, too. It's really bad, honestly, the writing with this film. The dialogue with all the characters are terrible. It's just awful. The directing is not even that good, honestly. It's not even that well shot. The editing is fine, I guess. And um, the cinematography isn't really all that great with the film. So, yeah, the directing really isn't that great. And the movie is pretty boring, honestly. The movie moves at such a slow pace. And you just want it to end. Because, for one, you don't care about these characters. And two, you just don't care about the story. And just everything is just awful with the film. So, uh, yeah, Brian Chucky. Pretty terrible movie. Uh, this is when I think the Child's Play franchise was starting to go downhill. And really, it shows, honestly, that it was starting to go downhill. It was starting to become stale. It was until the next installment where they really, really showed it. But we'll get to that when we get to that. But Bride of Chucky, it's really awful. It's an awful film. I, I couldn't stand it. It's a terrible, terrible movie. So, yeah. So the top of my official grade on Bride of Chucky and my official grade on Bride of Chucky is a D. It's a pretty awful film, honestly. It is so bad, it definitely deserves a D. So, what did you think of Bride of Chucky? Leave in the comment section below, and I'm FilmFan0599, and I'm going to turn it back to my good friend 22 Tiger Dude to give his thoughts on the film. <sighs> Thank you so much, Film Fan, for reviewing Bride of Chucky. Now, Bride of Chucky is where we get introduced to Jennifer Tilly as Tiffany. This is the start of the series where we don't see uh, Andy, at least, you know, not for a while in this franchise. We have Jennifer Tilly here as Tiffany now. And this is the start where the franchise becomes more comedic rather than very horror-esque. And for some, if not a lot of people, that could work when it comes to this film. But for me, I hated this film. In fact, this film makes me want to apologize to Child's Play 3. Because I hated Child's Play 3, but I hated this film 
even more than that film. Oh my god, I cannot believe how bad this movie is. This is a dark comedy and it does not work. Now, let me go ahead and just start off with my positives because I have a few positives with Bride of Chucky. I'll start off by saying that there's only a few times where I kind of laughed at this film. There were. A couple of those jokes dealt with Chucky mentioning Martha Stewart. There were a couple of Martha Stewart jokes in this film that actually kind of worked for me and I did find myself kind of laughing. There's a certain kill um, that didn't get a huge laugh out of me, but it got a pretty big smirk out of me. It's really the only kill I got some sort of enjoyment out of this film. And although I cannot stand Chucky, Brad Dourif, as always gives it his all. He is still really good as Chucky and I don't want to sound like a broken record or anything with these reviews whenever I talk about Brad Dourif but he's really great with this role and you could tell that he just has a lot of fun voicing this character and you just feel the passion and I have to really commend Brad Dourif for that. John Ritter, um, although not in this film that much, I did really like him for what he had and I actually have to say that I really like Katherine Heigl here, and I really like Nick Stabile, or Stabile, Nick Stabile, I believe that's how you say it, um, as this happy couple that Chucky and Tiffany tag along with. I actually really like them, and although, yes, they play your generic high school graduates or whatever, I did actually like them, and I'd rather much follow them than Chucky and Tiffany because whenever the movie did cut to them it really wasn't as unbearable well once they meet up with Chucky and Tiffany yeah that's when it stops being enjoyable but when it's just them alone I actually did really like them and I thought those two actually gave really good performances and a movie that I think is truly dreadful and that's all I have to say as far as positives go because I was not a big fan of this film. I really, really hated Bride the Chucky. This film was not for me. And this film made me miss Andy the minute it started. I really did not even like Jennifer Tilly as Tiffany the moment this movie started. But once Chucky kills her and she gets revived into being this doll, the Bride of Chucky doll, that is when this film really, really got awful. And as far as the score goes, there is no score in this film. You know what the music is throughout this film? It's just nothing but a bunch of random rock songs that play. Seriously, you go from Child's Play 3, a film that had a score that sounded like the Terminator, and then you go to Bride of Chucky, which does not have a score at all. It's just a bunch of random rock songs that do not match the tone of this film for me. Chucky really got annoying. I wasn't a big fan of Chucky and Child's Play 3 to begin with, but I really, really started to despise Chucky starting off with this film. This is where Chucky really got on my nerves. And although Brad Dourif really is great with his, with his voice work, the character I could not stand and I could not stand Tiffany. I thought Jennifer Tilly did a really bad job. When you just saw her as live action Tiffany, her acting was already unbearable from the start. But when she's in the doll body, it's somehow even worse. And as far as the kills go, they're stupid and they're predictable. You know when someone is gonna get killed and just like with Child's Play 3, the kills here were really uninspired and there's really no enjoyment besides for that one little moment I just mentioned in my pros. It's the only time I got maybe a little bit of enjoyment out of a kill. Besides that, I really was not impressed with how the kills were executed here. And Ronnie Yu's direction, like I said, this is from the same guy that's directed one of my biggest guilty pleasures of all time, Freddy vs. Jason. Um, he did a really bad job directing this film. I really was not impressed with the way he directed the film. The editing even felt very off in this film. And there's a lot of really 
stupid dialogue. There's so many what the F moments with this film. There are so many times where I'm watching this movie going, oh my God, what am I sitting through? It's hard to have fun with the movie like Brad of Chucky when the writing is really, really awful. Not really feeling very creative, being very predictable, and just the fact that it goes for this dark comedy did not work for me. I probably wouldn't have been bothered with it being a dark comedy if the comedy actually worked for me, but like I said, I only kind of laughed at a few parts, and that's really it. The comedy for pretty much 95% of the movie really felt flat. Even with the movie being self-aware, it just felt very forced from beginning to end when it just becomes very self-aware of how over the top and goofy it is. And you guys know me, if you guys have followed some of my reviews here on my channel, you know I don't mind stuff being over the top and goofy. It's just a matter if it's executed properly and if it worked for me, but the utter goofiness in this film really turned me off and as if the movie wasn't goofy enough for the first two acts the third act takes a complete 180 by the time we get to the third act of Brad Chucky I was Done. And to top it all off, there's even a scene when Chucky and Tiffany have sex with each other. Yeah, because I totally needed to see that. So, you don't actually see them have sex, but you see shadows of the two of them have sex with each other. So you don't see them, like, on screen, but you still see the shadow, and even that's like, oh, come on. On. I thought the cinematography just honestly looked pretty cheap. It's not the cheapest this series has looked. I'll get to that a little later with the next Chucky review, but it, it still looks really cheap. Overall, Brian Chucky is a god-awful Chucky movie. I really couldn't stand Chucky or Tiffany. They're bickering with each other really annoyed me. As a comedy, the movie definitely fails, besides a few moments that actually did get to me a little bit. I know there's plenty of people that like this one, and I'm happy for you if you do. I was not a huge fan. I, I couldn't stand Brian Chucky. I really tried. I really, really tried with this movie, but I hated it. Brian Chucky gets one out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Bride of Chucky. And I would also love to thank Film Fan for reviewing Bride of Chucky with me. Please check out his channel, you guys. He's a really cool dude. I will leave a link in the description down below. And Film Fan 0599 and I will be reviewing Sea of Chucky. So everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!